Hey guys, welcome back. It's Bob from bobsplumbingvideos.com, uh, but I think you all know that by now. What I wanted to do today is a short video on a complaint that I, I get pretty commonly in, in pertaining to faucets, in particular faucets with hose and sprays. Now, I have a faucet here. This is the tabletop demonstration, so bear with me. But the complaint generally is that they will press the button on their sprayer head here. And the true function uh, that is supposed to happen is when you press this button, the flow of water should stop coming out of the nozzle. And that's the way it works. So you could, you know, alternate spray, nozzle, spray, nozzle, spray, nozzle, etc. What happens over time is that the complaint becomes, I press the spray head and not only does the water come out of the spray head, but it continues coming out of the nozzle. And the pressure is kind of distributed between the two. So they experience a loss in pressure. Another common problem is that when you turn the faucet on, and this is before they even hit the head, they'll notice water is dribbling out of the nozzle very, very slowly. And they can't figure out why that is. And they'll actually hit this and, and nothing will come out of here. Well, what that is, folks, is, is, is inside the faucet body is a, is a, a little device called a diverter, which actually diverts the water from the spray hose, which feeds this spray head, and it, it, it intermittently works back and forth between the spray head and the nozzle. So from, from a cold start, when you turn the faucet on, it comes out of the nozzle. When you press the button, the nozzle is supposed to stop flowing, and the head should con continue to spray, but over time, these diverters wear out. Simple fix, guys. You can remove the nozzle, and there is your diverter. Um, straight blade sc screwdriver, but you know, you know me, the old leather man comes out of the holster. And it's just a matter of unscrewing this. And you'll go to the home center plumbing supply and just take this with you. Like I say with everything, take the part with you. Because inevitably, if you don't take it with you and you try to explain it to them, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back to you wrong. You would take that out, replace it, um, you're back in business. Now, I have it out. I left it out for a second. If by some chance you're in a situation where, you know, you or the customer turns the faucet on and it's actually dribbling out and they have no pressure whatsoever and you don't have a diverter with you, simply guys, just remove it. Take this out and put the nozzle back on. Now what that's going to do is that'll allow the faucet to function at full pressure. The only thing that's going to happen is you're going to get flow out of both ends. But at least to get you by the night, they'll be able to wash the dishes or, or whatever the case may be. At any rate, it will function without the diverter. Another thing I wanted to mention is this. Um, a, a lot of times I used to carry uh, two different types of faucets. The same faucet, one with a spray, one without a spray. If you get them without a spray, you don't have, uh, you know, the, the exit on the bottom of the faucet. It's just flat and Naturally, you wouldn't have the diverter in there. But I found that I kept putting in more faucets with hose and sprays, and I would develop an inventory of faucets without sprays. And uh, I really couldn't do anything with them. So I started buying faucets only with sprays. And what I do now, if the person doesn't want the spray, or if they don't have the right amount of holes in the sink uh, to accommodate a spray, I'll simply take the nozzle off take the diverter out, put the nozzle back, and I'll get a 1 8 inch brass plug, plug up the hole, and now I have a, a normal faucet without a spray. And that's, and that's how that goes, guys. It's, it's not too difficult. Now, different manufacturers do have slightly different diverter designs, but functionality, you know, it, they, they basically work the same. They may look a little different, but they, they, they do the same function. So now that you have your new diverter in there, 
Now when you turn your faucet on and you hit that spray head, bingo, this shuts, this sprays. So spray on, nozzle off, nozzle on, spray off. Pretty simple. And that's it guys for this video. So uh, listen, you know where I am. Info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. Please visit the website. And if you have any questions about today's video, don't be afraid to email me. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Guys, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you coming by and watching my stuff. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.